Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel for doing your reading. How are you in this wonderful, vibrant energy? We got Today we can wake up and choose to be basic or extra. We choose extra. Check out our wonderful apparel and download our app also. Available in Apple and Android. So let's begin over here. I have your sidereal chart here. Okay. Okay. So you can get your Astronova report in the description box below. So make sure to take advantage of that one. That's a, you can get a 2023 prediction and it's discounted to Astronova for 50 off. Okay. So let's begin for the Scorpios right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see here what's going on. Okay, okay let's see. Hmm? Let's begin. Ace of Coins! <laughs> the coins are coming, Sal. The coins are coming. I love a good coin, right? Money, <laughs> anda, dinero, okay. So people think when you see an ace of coins, money just comes to your lap over there. Not unless that's your style of work, which I do highly, of course, <laughs> appreciate you to the community. Um, but you need the hard work, of course, right? Opportunities, ace of coins is loan, financing, down payment for a new home, a house, a car, and all that jazz. Let's begin. I'm so happy for the Scorpios. Okay, as a Scorpio myself, we need a good coin. Okay, where is the coin coming from? It's called the D2 or the Aura chart. Mm -hmm. So if you know your D2, you would know how to manage your money. Um, if you work hard for money and who gets your money, if money will stay or money will just come to you. Because that's the uh, you know second house basically. Second house of Scorpio is Sag, which is ruled by Jupiter, and Jupiter right now is in retrograde, right? So having the second house Lord in retrograde, then there's a lot of things. It's, if it, we're looking at savings wise, there's a lot of things that you are probably un, uh, trying to figure out with regards to your money. Um, at the same time, Mercury is in retrograde in your eleventh house, Virgo. I do say Daryl, not Western, but it doesn't mean I don't like Western. I love Western, you know. Um, with the um, with the 11th house over here, it's active with Mercury. So a lot of, um, I feel like, things being worked on. Rahu in the 6th house gives you work, gives you the funds, but you have to really like commit to it. So if you're a person right now, Scorpio, who's manifesting luck and opportunity, this is the best time. Um, with Venus, of course, in the 20 degrees, uh, it's, it's still in combust with the Sun in the 10th house. Um, you know, in Leo, um, Sun is still in Leo, in Sidereal. Okay, because it is what is up there. So you look into the sun, it's in Leo. So it's still high time for your career. It's still high time for your success. You're showing up, you're glowing up. You know, you can be successful, famous. This is fame, sun in the 10th, or working for the government. This is getting recognized, getting an award and an achievement in Venusian way. Venusian is like film, you know, arts, fashion, um, jewelries, you know, things of beauty, that's Venus. So that's going to be something that you prob people are probably looking at you right now. So you are a whole, uh, a whole lot to handle. Ace of coins, the biggest coin ever. Okay. Then you have here the page of swords. All right. Oh, boring. <laughs> so someone here wants to talk to you. I don't know what they want to talk to you about, Scorpio, but it's a page. So in your success over here with Ace of Coins, you're just, you know, you're just doing well. You know, you're pretty well. But with a Page of Swords, your person right now is wanting to talk to you. Tell me your name. Mm -hmm. The Page of Swords is driven. Okay. The Page of Swords wants to know. The Page of Swords is investigative. It does, uh, you know, it, it really research. It's a researcher card. So whoever likes you, they're stalking you. And remember, as a golden rule... Of Sal, if they ain't talking, they're stalking, plain and simple. Next, you have here the hangman. So, delays, no movement. Why is your relationship in delay right now? It's best that it's on delay. You have moon in the seventh house right now in Mars. So, it's best that we keep distance, okay? Um, you may be a little bit sensitive to your partner, okay? There may be some issues with your relationship. Um, there may be something that you probably... Um, feel that they're not giving okay just saying seeing from the chart um but here with the hangman i feel like you've compromised your person you thought about it and it's not going anywhere the hangman also is a card of um i feel like uh 
um, you understand like, okay, well, it's not working out right now, you know, so why am I going to push this okay, with the hangman? Let me see though. Six of swords. Yep. No contact, no movement, just heavy stalker energy with your page of swords. Now, the six of swords over here, this is a card of long distance relationship. Now, you will see that there's two of swords over here. That's the two of swords, which means someone decided not to talk. Um, what I'm seeing here also is that it's it's complicated. This is what you guys are saying. And there's three swords here and three of swords here, which means that wow, either you guys have broken up, okay, and that's why you started a new life. And then right now, everything is up in the air with the hangman. Look at the hangman over here. It feels like it's trying to balance itself. It's trying to manage itself. It's not really looking like it's stuck, but it's really trying to align themselves, okay? So with the six of swords, no contact, no communication, and there it is, uh, the person. It can be a moon in Taurus over here. Um, uh, what what? Uh, there's a Libra sign over here. So what it's looking like with the six of coins, it's like someone is wanting to reach out to you, make things even. So a lot of resonance about uh, number three. Why three? Because six and six. For me, it's not six. It's that three, 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 three. Okay. So that may be a number that you are seeing a lot right now. With the six of coins over here, um, someone is giving you breadcrumbs and you choose to ignore them because you know better. Like I'm a whole lot of opportunities. So if you're just going to give me, you know, like, chump change for the six of coins it's not really something i would want right then you have a strength card a leo over here there is a chain someone is refusing um to communicate i feel like this is you you're definitely holding back because you are upset with how they are treating you the strength card is a courage card so which means before you didn't have the courage to ignore them you're probably the one who's just like oh they text you reply oh this is you know you reply so right now with the strength and the six of coins you're basically nr no reaction, okay? Um, you're upset with them, though. Um, you have this whole, like, um, finally, you know, you message, but then you message, and I don't like it, so you know what? I keep myself here in the Six of Swords. Okay. Hopefully, it's not a tower, not a Nine of Swords, not a Three of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Four of Coins, because we know the class card always, right, Scorpio? Now, um, what I'm seeing here can be a sun in, uh, uh, sun in Virgo. Or yeah, no. What I'm seeing here right now is that your person uh, is, well, it's you. It's more of you, like, because they give you chump change. So you're more of like, okay, well, an eye for an eye. What you do to me, I'll do to you. You shut down, I shut down. You don't reply, I don't reply. So with the four of coins, you're definitely holding back. Um, Ace of coins with the four of coins, you're probably saving money for an investment. Okay, with those combination right there. So there's money opportunities, and I feel like. For some, if this, you know, like if this is just your spread, you're paying off your debts, strength card with the six of coins, and you're trying to save money. Okay. So if you're talking about business, let's not, let's, oh no, let's, uh, before I add the spice, let me get the grand reveal already here. So we're not done yet. So this is the behind the scenes. There are things manifesting, before, you know, like before they shut down, before you guys are ignoring each other here, four of coins. What was happening? So these are more important than this so that you can understand why this happened. Because normally these are confusing. It's like, I don't know, we just stopped talking. Well, this is the reason. So then you find your answers there, okay? Mm, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, a flipper. Definitely holding back. Four of coins again. Mm, see? Someone's holding back on communication or movement in the relationship. Okay. Yeah, that becomes a little bit of an issue. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... In the grand reveal, I'm gonna still gonna do the spice. Okay. In the grand reveal, we'll answer the questions here. Okay, like wh why there's no movement? What are they holding back? Why? What are they keeping from you? Because normally those are like things that they keep kept from you. Okay, so a strong holding back of truth, um, because they're not allowing. Remember, the six goes to the seven of swords. So it's only a matter of a time before you find out if your person has been lying, by they're avoiding you all of a sudden. So something has changed in the dynamic. Why are you guys stuck? Okay. In the hangman. Okay, let's see the spice. Oh, temperance. So you still have 
uh, patience with your person here for the temperance. This is a Sag card. This is about like, you know, the two of cups over there feeling like you guys are soulmate because mm -hmm. there's a two of cups here. So you feel like, okay, we're, I'll give this a chance. Only if they put work though with the queen of pentacles. So let's see. But they're very defensive right now. Somewhat similar to either the Sag or the Capricorn. But they're defensive. They're not giving this a chance. They're really holding back. But the truth is coming out. Six of Swords with a Sun card. This is also going on vacation. But I feel like either they canceled, they stopped replying or seeing. So the Sun is like meeting. Um, and then they just ghosted you. Mm -hmm. You have the Knight of Wands over here. So they're giving you chump change with the Knight. And you know that the Knight is an in and out card. Holding back. So you're holding back and they're holding back. But there it is. Nine of Cups. Someone is about to open up. Because Nine of Cups, uh, you know, like normally it goes to the Ten of Cups. Um, but here, someone's wish is going to be granted. So I'm not sure yet what that is. But if it's about Four of Coins, Four of Coins, and Nine of Cups, this is, this is a different card. This is about warmth, welcoming, instead of like this one, cold and keeping. So this is someone here, or you or your person is ready. But with the Nine of Wands, I feel like they're on a shutdown here, and they're about to change with the Nine of Cups. Because... Nothing's changing your mind with the strength and the four of coins, which only means that your person is about to open up because you ain't budging, Scorpio. Nothing's changing your mind, you know. But positive with the temperance in the nine of cups, which means there's going to be progress in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Page of coins coming out. Page of cups. So a very sweet, endearing message. The wait is over with the seven of coins. So you waited. It was on delay. Queen of cups over here and the ten of coins. Someone wants to have a partnership now. Ace and ten of coins over here. That's my halfway there. So you guys are, you guys went through a situation where no contact. Delays. Ignoring. Defensive. Um, long distance relationship. Cancellations. Um, holding back on emotions and feelings. Not giving it a try. But then, I feel like your person here, Page of Cups with the Seven of Coins, they can't hold back anymore. They can't wait any longer with the Page of Cups and the Seven of Coins since you're not making any effort or move. And Queen of Cups over here, I feel like you still want it. But here it is. There's a big offer. I told you, it's like there's a twist. There's a turnaround. So someone here opens up about the partnership. If it's going to be a stable one, if you guys are going to be together. Okay, then we'll see. So I guess this reading now is basically no delay. With Mars in the 7th, nothing is going to delay your relationship right now. It's just going to keep going and going and going. Then we shall see where it's really going. Okay, thank you very much guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Everything is going to be down there. Um, Check out our wonderful collection of crystals also at our store and our wonderful apparel. Today, I choose the basic and extra. I'll see you guys again. Bye.